How do you light a standing pilot gas furnace? How do you know the thermocouple's bad? How do you know the gas valve's bad? We're going to talk about troubleshooting and learning more about this type of furnace. This is a very old furnace, but it works just fine as long as you have the right parts and everything is functioning properly. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. So to light this type of furnace, I'm actually going to show you but first I'm gonna walk you through it. Right here is the pilot tube and the pilot tube assembly. And there's a thermocouple and that thermocouple goes from here to there, which I'm gonna show you that in a moment. I actually replaced the thermocouple because it was definitely bad. Look at it. It's pretty corroded, the tip is missing. And this thermocouple once you light the pilot, if you let go of this button and the pilot flame does not stay lit, you may have a bad thermocouple. If you replace the thermocouple and you light the pilot and it still doesn't stay lit, then you may have a bad gas valve. So process of elimination. This, of course, when I took it out, I thought, man, that looks bad. I'll give you the part number for this so you can see that. Here is my new gas valve. And I had to install this adapter. When I ordered this gas valve, they send you an Allen tool and you have this adapter here. And what this adapter is, is it's a reducing adapter and it goes from half inch to three quarter because of course this, the input for this gas valve uh, takes half inch black iron. And you can see that right there, half inch black iron but the outlet pipe is three quarter inch right there, you can see. So put the adapter on. I'm gonna show you the thermocouple part number. This is the thermocouple that I use. It's a 36, there's the part number. And then also I'm gonna give you gas valve part number. Standing pilot combination gas control. All right, so what have I done so far? Place the thermocouple. I'm gonna show you how to light it in a minute. Went ahead and shut the gas off, took the union loose. So now all I gotta do is take this connection loose. But first, I'm gonna take this right here loose. This is the connection for the thermocouple. And then this is the connection for the pilot tube. And I'm taking it loose as well. That way I can actually take the gas valve out. We got two wires and I'll show you where those hook up on the new gas valve. Then we're gonna run through how to light this. All right, let me get this new gas valve in place. Tools I'm using, a couple pipe wrenches, and then of course some pipe thread sealant, Allen tools. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, I wanna give you a backup view of this. So. Beautiful. We're actually in the fire hall, so pretty exciting. Got to get them some heat. That way they can do their thing. All right, let's get started. All right, so got this little connection here loose, this half inch nipple and part of the union. You want to make sure that you have two pipe wrenches. Otherwise, you could end up bending something and that's unnecessary. So just wanna give you that tip. And now that it's loose, I'm glad we've got enough room to actually take it out. That's exciting, very exciting. Beautiful. Got some pipe thread sealant on that nipple there and we are ready to install this gas valve. Remember there's an arrow, so please consult the arrow before you try to install the gas valve the wrong way, okay? All right, now I have to get my pipe wrench and put it on the other way. All right. Now we've installed a new gas valve. We've got a new thermocouple. We wanna turn the gas to pilot. You wanna have some type of a lighter. And we've got the shut off in the on position. We've got the Union tight, what do we do now? Okay, so to light this, we wanna make sure the valve is in the pilot position. 
We want to hold this button down. Should be able to hear the gas coming through the pilot tube. And what you want to do is you want to take a lighter and you want to light the pilot. So now you should be able to see the pilot is lit. I'll turn the light off so you can see pilot is lit. Now once the pilot is lit, you want to hold this down for 30 seconds. That way that flame has enough time to heat up that thermocouple. Thermocouple sends a millivolt signal back to the gas valve and the gas valve will keep that flame lit and keep the pilot valve open. All right. Now you can see it's still lit and it's been 30 seconds. We should be able to take our finger off of this and it should stay lit. See how it's still lit? Now what we can do is we can take and turn this on. All right, now we should be able to turn the thermostat on. That's what we're gonna do. All right, where is the thermostat? Turn the thermostat to heating. Put it on about 68. All right, thermostat is on. So what we do is just wait for that five minute delay on the thermostat. Yay. So I got to looking at the thermostat and notice this is a heat pump thermostat. I don't even know why this is on here, but when you take it off the wall, you got, uh, <laughs> this. oh, okay. Got it. Okay. I see what they're doing. So what I got to do to make this heat come on is hit it on emergency heat. Wow, because of the way they got hooked up. Oh, I heard it click. Oh, it's working now. Look at that. Look at that. So it'll heat up, and then the fan will kick on. So let's see if that happens. Hope you know how to light this type of furnace now. Look at that big old yellow flame. Should hear a click. And fan should kick on. Probably don't need to stand in front of this thing when it does. No telling what's been in there. Throw it away. 80%. Look at that. We're waiting. You can tell this is a five ton furnace right here. 125,000 BTU. Oh, it's alive. Fan is blowing. Beautiful. Okay. We are working. So the pilot will stay lit. Disconnected the power just to see, make sure, but pilot should always stay lit. Gas valve is in the on position and it will reset and relight. And I hope you understand that, you know, thermocouple is a more common problem than a gas valve going bad. You try to light the flame, you push the button down, you light it, and it'll light, but then it won't stay lit. Probably a bad thermocouple. You replace the thermocouple, even though it looked bad. Now you light it and it still won't stay lit. Gas valve. We know the pilot valve is opening, sending gas, because of course when we push the button you can hear the gas. You light it, it lights but your gas valve is not opening the main valve. This is a limit switch in this furnace and this is a vent safety shutoff switch. These are both safeties and this is a manual reset. You can see the push button right there. We are gonna look at the installation manual and learn more about these safeties. 
Here is the installation instructions for that carrier furnace, that gas-fired upflow forced air furnace. There's a picture of it. I want to show you a couple things just to add more knowledge. So here is a schematic. And you can see there's a couple safety switches right here. And we have a VSSS. And this is not a common switch that you find on furnaces now. At least it's not labeled like that. But I want to show you what this is. And also that's a limit switch. So go up here, page number seven and scroll down and we've got vent safety shutoff switch. Purpose of this control is a safety shutdown of the furnace during a blocked vent condition. So during a blocked vent condition, temperature in the draft hood opening will rise, causing vent safety shutoff switch, VSSS, to open, breaking the circuit to the gas valve. Gas valve will close immediately, stopping gas flow to the main burners and pilot, and the blower will run continuously. The furnace will remain in this mode until the vent safety shutoff switch is manually reset. So you have to manually reset that switch. There is also a limit control or a limit switch. If the furnace overheats for any reason, the limit control LS switches, breaking the circuit to automatic gas valve. Gas valve closes immediately, stopping gas flow to the main burners and the pilot. In addition, blower motor continues to operate because heat relay HFR is de-energized to cool down the furnace. So we have a couple safeties here I just wanted you to know about. And got more pictures, but this manual is available. I'm gonna show you how to get it. To get that manual, type this in the Google search bar. 58 GP 125 installation manual. And then just click the first link right there. And here is the model and serial number. Look at that, 58 CP125, so it's 125,000 BTU. Down here, serial number, it says 58, looks like a SE90. So this is a very old furnace. It says 1988. Wow, that's awesome. Carrier. So I'm gonna read something from the Modern Refrigeration and Air Conditioning book. Right here is a standing pilot ignition system setup. Uh, you notice how the pilot light is positioned to constantly provide heat for the thermocouple to sense and for the burner to ignite. So you got the pilot light there and the thermocouple's positioned so that it will be in the flame. And then standing pilot ignition systems are found only in older furnaces. So that was an old furnace. Why in older furnaces? Since the standing pilot constantly burns gas even during the off cycle, because of course the pilot's lit, standing pilot ignition systems have become obsolete due to their inefficiencies. The majority of gas furnaces now use more efficient options such as intermittent pilots, direct spark ignition, or hot surface ignition. And then here's some more information if you want to stop the video, pause it, and read this just to learn more. This is a great book. Definitely uh, do your research, read, learn as much as you can. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was short and there's not a lot to cover when it comes to this furnace. The problems that I run into are blower motor, gas valve, thermocouple, dirty burners. Hit the like button, subscribe and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing before you leave. You need help with your project, you need tech support, you need my email, you'd like to have some guides sent to you, click the join button. Become a member. Check out my membership levels if you need more. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.